Welcome to day nine of Mindset Mastery, closing the knowing and doing gap, not just talking and making noise about the results you want, but actually closing the gap for what you say and what you actually go do so that you can have the thing you talk about. Now, remember, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so right now. Give a like on this video as soon as you have the aha moment or something you hear that you resonate with. I'd love to hear from you. And then at the end, if you have an additional thought or question, please drop it in the comments below because I'd love to respond back when I'm able to. I'd love to hear from you as well. So, so in this knowing doing gap for this second week of our 90 day blitz, we are specifically going to talk about the second piece of how you can have the knowledge and actually close the gap of what you go do with that knowledge to get the results you want. There are so many brilliant people out in the world, you included, me included. We know a lot and we don't have the results that reflect the knowledge, right? Our knowledge is inferior or we think it's superior but it must be inferior because without the application of that knowledge, we do not have the results we want. And of course, as you know me, the results I'm talking about a lot of times, if not 80% of the time, come to income. But they all they are also reflected with your health and your relationships. You might know you want to go exercise and be more healthy. You might talk about going to the gym, just like you might know you know how to make more money. And I teach you for free about how to do that but you don't apply what you learn. And the reason for that is the second piece. It's the subconscious mind. The subconscious mind is where your behavior stems from. The subconscious mind is your paradigm. Paradigm is a formation of habits. It's a formation of patterns. It's how you've been custom when you're growing up uh, from the first time you stepped on this earth you already had paradigms for how money works, for how money speaks, for how you should live your life and be healthy or not. You had all of these patterns given to you. And unless you challenge the thought of what's going on in here, because that's where it stems from. It's the thought. It's the idea persisted in. I can't make more money. You're right. And because you know, you know you can't make more money, how do you then feel? Oh, well, I'm just not talented enough. Oh, well, I will just never succeed. Oh, well, this is going to be too hard for me. Oh, well, I can't because, and you fill in the blank with shoulda, woulda, coulda, right? But because you thought that thing, you then persisted in the idea that yes, positive or negative affects your life. You then felt a certain way. I'm not good enough. I'm not worthy. I'm not smart, right? I'm not, I'm not okay. I can't accept the belief that I could be more because I never have. So why now, right? I'm not, I'm not lucky like that person that makes you feel a certain way. Well, how you feel is how you behave, how you behave gives you your action for what you then go do. If you're running around the house and being so grumpy with your husband and your kids and all the things, how do you then behave? You stomp around the house and you do certain things, right? Because you're frustrated. Well, that frustration came from a thought, right? Right. That thought when persisted in gave you your result. So right now with your subconscious mind, you've got to check in with how you feel about something, whether it's your health, your relationships, your finances. You look at your bank account right now. If you don't feel happy about the money that you have, how can you attract more of it? If you're not grateful for the money that you have right now, for how you're making income, for the sales that you have, if you're not grateful for that, how can more be brought to you if you're like, ew, I don't like that, so don't come to me, right? The only way for you to change what's happening in your subconscious mind, for you to go get different income results, for you to go get better relationships and better meaningful health, to live a long, good lifestyle, the only way for you to go do and improve those things is to close the gap for what you know, your conscious mind, to what you feel, your subconscious mind, Bridging the two together, challenging the thought when it comes up, if it is less than something that you want. If you're a person who makes $50,000 a year and you have the thought, I want to make $50,000 a month one day, you can have that. It's just a matter of, are you feeling that feeling consistently? Or are you allowing the knowledge to take over for why you can't, won't, shouldn't? Does that make sense? If that makes sense for you, please drop the words make sense below this video. I'd love to hear from you, okay? Now, the last thing and what I want you, I want you to consider, you know, your piece of your homework for right now on this day inside of our Mindset Mastery 
is last week we talked about a shopping list. We talked about you writing down with no filter for 17 minutes, everything that you want without rhyme or reason, just what it is you want. Now go back to that shopping list. How does it make you feel when you read it? You might have the little creepy person come in and say, oh, you can't have that. How silly are you, dummy? That's not for you. You won't be able to make it. You might have that thought, toss it, because you have no proof of that. And that feeling is less than what you deserve, right? That feeling of you're not going to make it. It's not good enough. You're not, you're not worthy of this. You're not deserving of that. But look at that shopping list and reroute how you feel if that creepy little person, dumb little thought comes into mind of how you can't, won't, shouldn't, Okay. Then take that feeling and project it to what it is you do in your daily routine. If you knew for a fact you were going to get four sales, let's say you landed $800 by tomorrow at the time of the next video you watch inside this playlist, if you knew you were going to make $800, how would you feel right now? You would feel different. Well, that subconscious mind is what's talking. That subconscious mind for how you feel, how you then behave is what gives you your results. That is where it stems from. So if you look at your results right now, and you say, that is not what I want. That does not make sense to me. I know I can be better. I just don't know how yet, but I want to. That desire when persisted in will land you the physical result of more. Okay. It really, really will. I can guarantee you that, but it all starts from you challenging the thought, you replacing it with a different idea for something that matches your goals, finances, health, relationships, all of it. And then you matching what you feel and what you think here with what you then go do. All right. If you found that you resonated with this video, you found your little aha moment of something that stood out, a one sentence of a nugget, please give a like on this video, drop a comment if you have a thought or question, and we'll see you on the next day with Grace Kirstie.